Those who watched Animal Planet for the majority of 2010 are likely familiar with Finding Bigfoot, the network's in-house reality show about cryptozoology that followed a crew of Bigfoot hunters as they searched America for the fabled Sasquatch. The crew, which included leader Matt Moneymaker, Cliff Barakman, James Bobo Fay, and Renee Holland, searched for more ape-like cryptids around the world in later seasons of the seven-year series that aired between 2011 and 2018. Although the team never succeeded in finding a Squatch, as they dubbed them, they did play a significant role in the global Bigfoot community's ongoing hunt for the creature. Maybe no one in the group got as popular as Bobo. As the group's field caller, Bobo's bulky frame was frequently used to impersonate Bigfoot during scene reenactments. He was also well liked for his easygoing demeanor and penchant for dressing in Bigfoot themed clothing. However, it's likely that Bobo hasn't been in the news much since Finding Bigfoot ceased broadcasting in 2018. But Bobo's lack of motivation isn't the reason for that. He is still very much involved in the Bigfoot community. It may surprise you to hear that Bobo isn't a skilled Squatch hunter off camera. After all, a lot of time has passed since Finding Bigfoot aired. And sadly, not many Bigfoot-related careers are viable enough to support a comfortable living. As a result, Bobo works as a commercial fisherman in Eureka, California, and you may see him down by the docks there more often via Animal Planet. When he can, he also performs various work-related things. However, this should not lead you to believe that Bobo's Bigfoot days are behind him. He still considers it to be a significant aspect of his life, and he uses his job to learn about any stories about Squatch in his community. While it may not be his full-time employment, looking for Bigfoot in the woods is still his passion, and his work is crucial to his search for the fabled creature. Bobo, the largest of the Bigfoot hunters on Finding Bigfoot, frequently filled in as the show's stand-in Sasquatch. He was an ideal substitute when attempting to determine whether a Squatch had left a mark on a tree stem or could be seen lumbering around from a specific distance due to his height, which is well over six feet, and hefty build. But just because he's lost a lot of weight doesn't mean you would know him if you saw him on the street today. To see just how much Bobo's physique has transformed in the years following the broadcast, watch this March 2021 video interview. Bobo is now as thin as a rail and still stands at a Squatch's eye level, but he may be too thin to blend in with the cryptid's general silhouette. Still, if Bobo's weight loss is linked to a healthy lifestyle, then that's a little price to pay. Bobo still contributes to the Bigfoot community despite not being on a popular TV show. He and Cliff Barakman, another Finding Bigfoot veteran, for example, co-host the monthly iHeartRadio podcast, Bigfoot and Beyond. They interview people about their encounters with Bigfoot and discuss impending local events. There were over 122 episodes in the podcast as of September 6, 2023. Furthermore, Bobo is well versed in the majority of conventions and local gatherings within the Bigfoot community. He gave a talk at the 2020 Smoky Mountain Bigfoot Conference in Gatlinburg, Tennessee in July 2023. Moreover, he was able to squeeze in a cameo in the indie 2021 Bigfoot documentary, Bigfoot at Bluff Creek. Ultimately, he was naturally included in the Finding Bigfoot reunion episode from 2021. The search continues, in which he and the other crew members employ cutting-edge technology to carry out their ongoing quest. 
But the question of where is Bobo should be put to rest.